The second part of the Lail al is something that didn't happen at the time of Rasulullah but it happened later on, after he passed away. Remember, I only choose one hadith to prove, although there are many, many books written in each, each of these categories. For example, the Prophet said, Yes, in the Rasulullah, yet he could be in Yemen. A man will come from Yemen, the Prophet said. A man will come from Yemen. Kana bin Qadr. He would be from the tribe of Qadr. Kana bin Ibas. He had a skin disease, leprosy. But he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He didn't go to the doctor. He didn't have any operation. Because he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was obedient to his mother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cured him. Except in the mawdi'a dirham or a dinar. Except for uh, an amount equivalent to dinar or dirham, just like two pence of our time, is still left for a mark. Okay? If he comes to you, then listen to the next week. The Prophet said, Oh my Sahara, fal yastaghfir lakum. You should request him to make dua for you. What happened when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi passed away, Abu Bakr of Allah was looking for it. Anyone from, anyone from Qana, he couldn't find it. Ramadan of Allah was looking for it. He also used to look for it. Once upon once, a caravan came from Yemen. Ramadan went there. Is anyone from Qana here? They said, yeah, we have someone at the back. He's from Qana. Because Ramadan went to him. He said, brother, are you from Qana? He said, yes, I'm from Qana. Are you awake? He said, yes, I'm awake. He said, do you have a mother? He said, yes, I have a mother. He said, you have no one behind you but only a mother? He said, that's correct. He said, is it true that you have leprosy? He said, yes, I have leprosy. Is it true that you made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He didn't go to a doctor or operation, but he made dua to Allah like you on the same night? He said, that's correct. Except for one dinner on the Google, he took his hand out and goes, that's correct too. He said, brother, please make dua for me. He said, who are you? He said, I'm Umar ibn Khattab. He said, I'm Umar ibn Khattab. You should make dua for me. I'm the Sahabi of Rasulullah. You are the Sahabi, you know, Ajayi of the Sahabi of Rasulullah. You are one of the one of the most eminent Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You should be dua for me. He said, brother, and then he narrated the old hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When a waist head is started to cry. Prophet mentioned me by my name and all these specific details he has preserved and you were also as well. Subhanallah. And a waist he made dua for me. And then all the people in the car and they were looking at, hey, we have this guy all the way from Yemen. You know, this guy was with us all this time. We didn't know that such a harsh that this person is. We can be with Ramadan al Khattab. Here, Ramadan al Khattab is meeting him. When he found out that people are talking about him, he went into the crowd, never to be seen again. Because of his sincerity, he didn't want to be famous. Imagine me and you were here with their guys. Look, this is me. Ramadan came to me. I look at my position. You know, anyone for their idea, inshallah, you know, all this stuff will happen. But this is a Sahab, this is a present tragedy. He disappeared. And no one ever said, ah, then no the hadith, no one mentioned him. Everyone went on search for him, but no one, no one, no one had ever seen Awais al after that. These are the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Musulmah sabi'un do that. 